Hello everyone, and thank you for watching the Wasabi Aquarium channel. Today is part two of the ultimate guide to fighting algae, and we will focus on the fastest way to get rid of an excess amount of algae in your aquarium. This video should especially be helpful for anyone who is struggling with an excess amount of algae in their aquarium that continues to grow no matter how often they try to get rid of them by physically pulling them out or changing the water or for anyone who is even considered to reset their entire aquarium due to the excess amount of algae. Some of you may know that in the past we've created a series of 10 episodes in this channel that go in depth and in detail on how to fight and prevent algae. You can consider this ultimate guide series as a super condensed version. Also, the first episode of the ultimate guide series was more or less how to create an environment that prevents algae from appearing, but this video will be for aquariums that already have an excess amount of algae and need to get rid of them ASAP so it will be more of a drastic remedy or a silver bullet to calm down a pretty severe situation. For more detailed in-depth videos on the cause and standard methods of preventing algae, it would be best to go through the 10 episode series in order, so I'll leave the links to all episodes in the description link below, so please have a look when you have the chance. As mentioned earlier, this video will be focused on a more urgent method of get, getting rid of vast amounts of algae in a short period of time. It might be best to start with the conclusion. There are only three steps to follow to get rid of as much algae as possible in the shortest amount of time. The first step is to turn off the interior lights and block any outside light. The second step is to add Yamato shrimp. The third step is to increase the frequency of water change. The steps are very simple, but the most important thing that you cannot miss is to execute all three steps simultaneously. I often realize that customers who mention that the algae do not stop increasing even though they are trying prevention methods, they're usually only trying one or two of the methods mentioned above and it is absolutely crucial to do all three at once where it will be difficult to solve this issue given that the algae grow at a very high speed. Next, we'll dive into details on each step. The first step is very simple and straightforward. Let's start with turning off all of the lights. Of course, the longer you keep the lights off, the more damage you can do to the algae, but at the same time, the aquatic plants also go through photosynthesis, so this will also eventually cause some damage to the plants as well, especially the more delicate plants that are usually on the front end. So I would recommend starting with shutting the lights out for 24 hours and checking the condition of the algae and your aquarium, and if the algae still seems to be relatively active, I would extend shutting out the lights for maybe another 24 hours or up to 48 hours straight, so for two full days maximum. Of course, not all light will be shut out just by turning off the lights, so I would additionally cover the aquarium with any type of box and completely shut out all lights from the tank. This would obviously depend on the room, but if there's any type of dim light that passes through your window, for example, that gleam of light can activate the algae to increase through photosynthesis. So it's extremely important to shut out all forms of light from reaching your aquarium from 24 to 48 hours straight. Also, as mentioned earlier, shutting off the lights will also force the aquatic plants to stop photosynthesis, so it is absolutely crucial to turn on the aeration and stop your CO2. The plants cannot activate photosynthesis without light, so please make sure to turn off the CO2 and keep the aeration on for 24 hours straight. If we're extending to 48 hours, keep the aeration on for 48 hours. Also, do not give food to the fishes for the same amount of time. Please make sure to follow this flow to shut out all light from your aquarium as the first step. 
The second step is to add Yamato shrimp. This step is just as important as the first step. From my experience, the people who experience an excess amount of algae in their aquariums do not have enough Yamato shrimp. When your aquarium is in good condition and the flow of water is perfect, you usually do not need that many Yamato shrimp, but in a situation where you have too much algae, where you're able to maybe grab and lift the algae up from the water, you immediately need to add a lot of shrimp. But exactly how many shrimp should you add? This depends on your environment, layout, and the size of your aquarium, but generally speaking, the more the better. If the Yamato shrimps do their job as they should, the algae should disappear in a pretty short amount of time. Or for example, if you have two or more aquariums, you can install all of the Yamato shrimp into the aquarium that you're having trouble with the algae and then allocate them to the other tanks once the situation settles. However, if you only have one aquarium, I would use the following amount as reference. For a 30 centimeter cubic aquarium, I would install 20 Yamato shrimp. For a 45 centimeter tank, I would use 25. And for a 60 centimeter aquarium, I would use about 30. This is probably the minimum amount you would need. So if the situation does not seem to settle at all, it is totally fine to add 30 to 50% more. As you may know, algae grow at a very high pace. So you need to make this a short battle by receiving as much help from the Yamato shrimp as much as possible. Also, the most common feedback I get when I suggest adding a large amount of Yamato shrimp is the concern that the shrimp may eat or cause damage to the aquatic plants. However, if you grow your plants properly and in good condition, the damage that the shrimp cause will be minimal. Of course, there could be some harm done depending on your plants, such as the more delicate ones used in the front end of the aquarium, but for most cases, the Yamato shrimp should not affect your aquatic plants too much and you should be able to maintain your aquarium in good condition. The third and last step is to increase the frequency of water change. The amount of algae in your aquarium is a direct correlation with the condition of your water, so usually the balance or pH level is off. So it is very important to replace the water even more frequently than usual and to consistently maintain fresh water inside your tank. Specifically, I would strongly suggest changing one third of the water every two days. This is quite a lot of water to be changed, but during urgent situations like these, it is important to be aggressive. This video is especially focused on situations where the algae is almost out of control, so it's important for the prevention methods to be extra aggressive than usual. One third of the water in your aquarium will change almost three to four times a week, so you can see that this is a very large amount compared to your usual maintenance procedures. But if you do start to notice a decrease in the amount of algae, you can start to also decrease the amount of water change such as changing one-fourth of the water and then one-fifth while still maintaining the frequency of every two days. By gradually decreasing the frequency as the situation starts to settle, you can also soften the damage done to the bacteria by maintaining a more consistent pH level. So I'd proceed depending on how the situation changes as you go through the process. In some rare cases, such as if you live in an area where your tap water has a very high pH level, you must be careful to not make the pH level in your aquarium too high by installing extra filters or filtering materials in your layout. I don't want to repeat myself, but please also note that it is very important to go through this procedure simultaneously with the other two steps. So, as we've covered in this video, most of your algae should disappear if you follow these three steps all at once. I would say about 90% of your algae should disappear 
Even if the algae in your aquarium is at an extreme level where your water is totally green or you can pick up the algae like udon noodles. For anyone who is considering to reset their aquarium due to the excess amount of algae, please think of that as an absolute last resort. If your aquarium is a few years old and you were thinking about resetting it in the first place, then it could be a considerable option to replace everything including your equipment, but if it has only been less than a year, I would try to fight off the algae by following the three steps we discussed before considering the option of resetting your tank as I do believe there's a high chance you could settle the situation. If there are any additional details you would like to know or if you have any questions related to algae prevention, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you also found this video to be helpful, please kindly subscribe to the Wasabi Aquarium channel and hitting the like button will also be greatly appreciated. Please stay tuned for more videos that could be helpful to your aquarium and once again, your continuous support is very much greatly appreciated. That's it for today. Thank you.